Hello and welcome to this video in the Google Shopping Training Series. In today's video, we will be creating our very first ads in the Google Ads Manager. This can be a very exciting and confusing time in a young advertiser's life. I'll be here to guide you through this transformational period. Before we get started with the training series, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every Thursday night for the Facebook group where I give away a one hour consulting call. By subscribing, you're helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through and I hope you enjoy the video. Now I said we were going to create our very first Google Shopping campaign today, but I'm going to need you to load up your Google Merchant Center first. We haven't claimed our website yet and we need that to get further along in creating our ads. Once in your Google Merchant Center, click the wrench in the top right corner and in the first column, click Business Information. Fill out the required information about your business. The important part being the proper URL and customer service email and phone number. Up at the top, you'll see a section that says Website. Click there and input your website one more time. Click Save and you will click I have a Google Analytics account. Since we've already set up your Google Analytics on the website, all you have to do is click Verify. All right, onto the Google Ads Manager. When you sign in, you should be greeted with this page. Click on Plus New Campaign. Campaign goal should be Sales. We're going to select a Shopping Campaign in the next section. Make sure you have the right Merchant Center account selected, and we're going to go after United States only for the time being. In this last section, select Standard Shopping Campaign. I usually just name my shopping campaigns based on the website or subset of products that I'm going after. Since I'm going for my entire catalog, I'll name this Shopping Catalog. For our entire catalog campaign, I set up the bidding strategy of Maximize Clicks. I don't use a CPC bid limit when I start, but if you're worried about overpaying for placements, you can cap your bids around 50 cents per click and adjust as necessary. I do suggest leaving it blank. Budget to start, I use 25 to 30 bucks and I typically don't have more than like 50 products in my store to start with. If you have a lot of products, you'll see what products are going and getting the most searches and which perform best on click-through rates. That should help you get an idea as to which ones you want to focus on more. Campaign priority needs to be low. This is not important now, but when you find a product that is working well, a low priority on your all products campaign will allow you to extract your product from the campaign and run a separate one with a different budget at a higher priority. Keep all networks selected and locations set to the United States. Don't set an end date. Click save and continue. Give your ad group a name Click save and you're done. Now that we have set everything up, I wanna go through a couple of key concepts on Google Shopping and why we picked some of the settings that we did. The standard versus smart shopping campaign. There's a lot of back and forth that I have about this and my decision comes down to purely having control over scaling my campaigns. Smart shopping is a great set it and forget it type of advertising and is a way for you to make lazy money if you have a good website. Now, that's not to say if you don't have a good website that regular shopping will make you money. It won't. You need to have a good website, but the better your website is, the more valuable smart shopping is. Standard shopping just gives us a lot more flexibility in the later stages and during scaling. Our bid strategy, maximize clicks. At first, we're just trying to get in front of as many hungry eyes as possible. And the best way to do that is to spend money effectively. If we maximize clicks, we're getting ourselves in front of the highest intent audiences who want to purchase as often as possible for as low as possible based on what Google thinks we should be spending to get in front of them. This isn't the most optimized you'll be in Google ads. However, it's a good place to start. Priority. We talked about this a little bit, but I want to go in a little more depth. When you're running multiple campaigns concurrently, you have to have a priority set to each. Campaigns with a high priority run and spend their ad budget first, medium priority second, low priority third. 
If your campaigns don't share any products, they will not be impacted by priority. If you have a product that is in two campaigns, one of which is a high priority campaign and another that is a low priority campaign, the low priority campaign will not spend any budget on that product until after the high priority campaign has spent its daily budget. This is how we're going to build single product campaigns later. That's all for today. If this video helped you at all, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. In the next video, we will be discussing the use of Google search ads for your business. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.